Good morning, evening, afternoon. I'm Tato Cat. Welcome to my channel. Today we're playing Echoes of Lucid Nine fan game. Previously, um, we got to meet Satomi, who likes to have a bathhouse as her office while she sits in a swimsuit with three swords on her back. And machine guns pointed at us. But that's neither here nor there. Um, and we're going to work for the mob. I mean, totally legitimate corporation and that's where we left off Kazahaya uh, Kazahaya Combine is not a criminal organization Hayata they're as legitimate as we are Kosuke if offering high interest loans selling weapons to the highest bidder and gunning people down for profit qualified as legitimate I'd be in business by now throwing stones in glass houses again I see beats getting thrown out of a helicopter for missing my monthly protection fee unless you're into that sort of thing should I call you generalissimo from now on sir Kosuke size does it at least soothe your aching conscience to know that you don't have a choice in the matter no less than usually does what did you think of Satomi's proposition? I'm all for it. Kosuke opens a second channel. One of your current objectives has changed. Alright, let's look at it now. Nope. Mission commandeering munitions active one of kazahaya combines munitions factories in district 3 has been cut off from them by an unknown hostile force with highly advanced technology fight along black star security to retake the facility and demonstrate your strength rewards Nothing. It looks like. I get nothing? Why am I doing this? What if I want to be part of Songbird Collective? Lucid. Actual. To Lucid 8. And Lucid 9. You are hereby ordered. To assist Satomi with whatever she's planning. Stay close to her daughter as well. Until the mission starts, she'll tell you where to go and what to do. Aye, sir. Oh, sorry, that was his how, wasn't it? Aye, sir. Understood. Lucid actual to lucid nine, please. Oh, lucid actual to lucid one, please continue to monitor their progress. If required, you're authorized to deploy cellular assistance as reinforcements. By you or by Blackstar, sir? Both of us, thankfully. You have your orders. Let's make this happen. Saito out. I'm sorry you had to experience that, Rui. At times, my mother can be a bit... Inappropriate, among other things. 
After what she's done for me, though, I can't really refuse requests from her, even if that means training full-time with overpowered weapons or the constant nude photo shoots under the guise of physical liberation. That's for profit physical liberation, I assume. What other kind is there? Business opportunities? You're absolutely correct. And I hate it. Follow me. The quartermaster is waiting for us. As Misaki leads both of us towards the slightly shorter, thinner, and more rectang rectangular skyscraper directly adjacent to the lotus, I take a few quick glances at Hisao to confirm that he hasn't burst any blood vessels after listening to and admittedly staying out of my most recent conversation with her. Upon closer inspection, the building appears to have hundreds of missile batteries and hangar doors attached to its exterior surface, as well as Black Star Security's logo mounted on its broad side in the form of a heavy fluorescent sign. I think it's safe to assume that this building is theirs. Now it's there ironically. This is kind of exactly what I thought that would look like. Just weapons, shotguns, whatever that is in the center. We assume more weapons, just smaller ones. After passing through the ground floor floors entrance hall and a pair of rather substantial titanium hangar doors, Misaki leads us into what appears to be a warehouse sized armory. Shelves of weapon tower over us neatly spaced between highly a uh, highway sized columns of steel panel floor a muscle bound forklift operator carrying a pallet of low yield plasma missiles parks his vehicle and jumps down to the ground saluting Misaki as she approaches. It's good to see you again, Quartermaster. Likewise, Ojo-sama. Misaki gestures towards Hisao and I. These are operatives Lucid 8 and Lucid 9, a way for Special Services Division. My mother told me that you prepared a gift for them. We have. I hope you are ready, operative. The quartermaster reaches into the back of his forklift and sets two metallic carrying cases on the ground. There seems to be a large... They seem to be as large as me, and if that's any indication of what's inside, something tells me that this gift is going to be a tad inconvenient to receive. I would love for it to be like a tiny gun in like this like giant case, like like one of those crickets from Men in Black. That's a really old school reference because there hasn't been a Men in Black movie in like decades or so. <laughs> 
Like, here's the tiny gun. That was very powerful. It was, like, ridiculous. Central Fabrication sent us 200 of these absolute units a couple of days ago. Aside from a few of us, the boy and I can hardly pick them up. The Quartermaster unlatches one of the cases. Feast your eyes on the X250L, one Yudo anti tank battle rifle, 174 centimeter stock, two barrel, and 25 kilos of carefully constructed lethality. I'll bring these to the front room for you first. 100 rounds are on me, but the lady upstairs has given you access to our entire ammunition stock. The price might be a little high for some kinds of ammo, but feel free to buy as much as you need from us. Oh, and we welp and welcome to District 3 operatives. This place, I don't know where it's going with that, this place is a bit of an acquired taste. <laughs> I don't know why I'm dealing with this voice. But if Kazahaya Sama is with you, you shouldn't have any trouble. Stop by if you like to talk about upgrading some of your weapons and don't touch any of the girls who work at the soap lands. Trust me, it is a great way to lose a finger. Has he lost fingers doing this? I kind of didn't plan on touching any girls in the soap lands. I don't know where they've been. I know it's called soap lands, but you never know. Between missions, you may choose to visit District 3. If your reputation with Kazahaya Combine is neutral or higher, which functions as their open world faction hub. Many features of this hub world are missing or incomplete, but new equipment can be purchased from KCOM by visiting the Quartermaster in Black Star City, Citadel. My mother might be trying to get you to get you to work for her, but that doesn't necessarily mean anyone's going to give you a warm welcome around here. You're still ordinary bugai bugagation. Say it's a bugai sha. Because I've never, I keep seeing it spelled this way, but I've never seen Bugaisha spelled this way. And I don't know what a Bugaisha is. So maybe I will just call it Bugaisha. Um, I don't know what that is, honestly. I just thought it was a misspelling of Bugaisha. But maybe it's something else. Uh, but like, okay, I'll just say Bugaisha. Because AI is... to them and I doubt the weapons on your back are going to do you any favors because I know an Ono Bugeisha is like um one of the names for like uh, a Japanese warrior samurai who's a woman I'll stay with you in case you run into someone who's having a bad day. Misaki has temporarily joined your squad. I was gonna say party. <laughs> oh, Friday, April 26, 2041. 8 o'clock. I assume it's AM because game is military. So my reputation is neutral. Cool. District 3. The Silent Circle, controlled by Kazahaya Combine. 
go to Black Star Citadel, a uh, quartermaster, or a mission. Um, I know I used some ammo before, but I also have no idea how much money I have now. Welcome back, operative. What can I do for you? Purchase slash upgrade weapons. Purchase slash ammo and munition. Purchase items slash equipment. What services do you offer here? I said black. I mean, we know. They just told us. Um, purchase ammunition. Okay. I don't know how much money I have. And it makes it all go away. I don't even know how much money you have. Oh. I can't see because the thing is in my way. Oh, if I do that, I can't see that. Count balance. Looks like I have quite a bit of money left, even after I spent. Where is the decimal though? I can't figure out how much money I have. Uh, I feel like it should be about here, but we're looking for the place I think it's like up to here. Alright, um, uh, is this how much I have in my inventory? It looks like. I feel like getting grenades come in handy. Oh yeah, Purch oh, I can purchase equipment. Do I want more? Do I have enough for me? Hmm. Hmm. I don't have any. I guess I don't have any shotgun ammo. Let's try some shotgun ammo. I don't know if I need it. Um, purchase mm -hmm. oh, I say. Shotgun. Okay, cool. I'm gonna have some shotgun in there. I don't know if I need one over here. I feel like it can't hurt. Okay. Um. Do I actually go back? Right, back. Um. Purchase less upgrade weapons. What weapons? Cotton. Cotton mouth shotgun. Uh, experimental core weapon upgrade. Uh -oh. I'll buy a new gun. I don't think I need. Ever since the combine has requ acquired Garrett munitions, we have been working to adapt the G4M series of shotguns to handle shells neutralizing metallic nitroglycerin as a propellant. The G4MX cotton mouth is a solid choice for clearing out rooms or engaging hostiles in close quarters. Maximum effective range is 30 meters and within 10 meters you can use 
the recoil side side cell cycler <laughs> to speed its rate of fire and rip whatever's in front of you to shreds. Our asking price for it is a million in but it comes with eighty rounds a standard box of magazine a standard box magazine, basic accessories and a lifetime warranty in case anything breaks. Would you like to purchase it? Maybe later. Of course. Let me know if you change your mind. Will you be needing anything else today? Nope. I'm groovy. Go with honor, operative. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just work for the mob and start our mission. I mean, legitimate, legitimate corporation. To be fair, our our corporation is probably just also mob-like. I feel like all of the ones in the trifecta probably are. And great. Now DCIS is going to come get me. <laughs> you are currently on duty and scheduled to begin mission command commandeered munition shortly. Would you like to start the mission now? Well, I really can't do anything else. So yes, start it now. Operatives, since my mother isn't the type to settle things in person, I've been dispatched to meet you at the mission site and assess your performance on her behalf. I'm sorry for briefing you while you're on route, but our orders are to go and fast and quiet in order to recapture this facility. Got it. Is this one of those things? Because I was told that I don't have to cooperate or I can be slightly inconvenient. Is this one of those moments where I can actually just like, okay, sure. We'll knock quietly at the door and like kick it down and or whatever. Wow. Okay. Is, is this info important? On-site munitions. Component. Manufacturer. Manufacturing. In... This one's a little hard to read for me. Lost. Oh, hostile. Oh, they're just telling me all the stuff I already know. Black Star. Okay, this is telling me what I know. Okay. Cool. So it's not really. I'm sure a lot of people are like, eh, but. It's kind of hard for me to read, and it honestly looks like I already have this info. If I were to read this out loud, it would take me quite a while. And this district, this is District 3, is Block 79, Manufacturing. Meh. Let's try this again, Misaki. And this is District 3, Block 79, Munitions Depart Depot. Currently under occupation by an unknown adversary with advanced technology. They're telling me all the stuff that I read and the thing earlier. The Sentinel fire team we have performing reconnaissance in the area have detected between 75 and 100 enemy 
health signatures currently barricaded inside the depot behind its titanium diamond diamond glass doors your mission along with the 417th heavy infantry company will be to infiltrate the facility, neutralize all hostile forces, and recapture it once we can blow those doors down open. The 417th will form an offensive line around the perimeter and release the lockdown on the door on the roof panel. After that, we'll deploy you to for top-down insertion to clean up any remaining hostiles. I'll meet you up there once we we're sure the adversary can't use any anti-air defenses against us. Fortunately, this depot only manufactures and stores weapon, weapon components, not active firearms or ammunition. Because of this, the ordnance stored there can't be used without first being shipped to our assembly plant outside Isamu for final activation. Unfortunately, this facility houses several high capacity plasma batteries and schematics for some of our prototypes that this enemy contingent may be interested in if they advanced enough to use micro microcryptors and hack into our systems stealing low tech weapon parts doesn't seem like a logical plan we're well prepared for this mission but do not under do not under any circumstances underestimate the enemy well, they may be without honor. These people are to be treated with great respect. Cutting off a facility in that in the middle of District 3 is no small feat. And chances are they had to kill the hundreds of guards we had stationed there in order to achieve it. The door just about to just about broken loose itself. I'll see you topside once we're sure that your transport that your transport can land safely. Kazahaya out. Ojo sama, this is three liter. You might want to slow the approach vector on those transports. For what purpose, 3 liter? I sevens hotter than we anticipated. Hostile forces have set up a series of automated grasshopper missiles, batteries, on the roof, scans indicate they are loaded with armor piercing high incendiary defragmentation warheads. All transports, this is Misaki Kazahaya. Slow your speed by 85% and activate your 
examples bring all PDFs facing online and move to positions at least three kilometers from the target. Well, we'll see if we can land safely in this factory in the next episode. Hopefully. I don't want to blow up. But maybe that's the name of the game.